Brussels scab and cedar apple rust are two of the biggest problems that we'll see in Nebraska on crab apples and, and on our edible apples every year. We see the major problems developing in the spring with leaf spots and premature defoliation in the fall. But the big thing with both of these diseases is management and timing of those managements and that's what we're going to kind of go through today and what the diseases look like. Right behind me is a crab apple that has experienced severe defoliation due to apple scab. This tree right now, this is the third week of September and it's completely defoliated out. If we're looking at a resistant crab apple tree, the leaves are still on it and is able to withstand the disease a lot better. If we look at apple scab, we're going to see little black spots on the leaves and then when they first start they're very feathery and outer appearance and it will eventually become larger and coalesce. And as these coalesce you're going to have the leaf material to drop off and you're going to end up with holes in your leaves eventually. It also can affect the fruit a little bit on both your crab apples and on your edible apples. <clears throat> when we look at management for apple scab or even cedar apple rust we're going to be looking at Sanitation is the big key for it. We need to rake up those old crab apples that have fallen off and the leaves during the fall and throughout the season. If you're going to be redesigning your landscape and putting new plants in, using resistant varieties of crab apples and apples in your landscape is the best way to manage these diseases. The resistant varieties are able to handle the disease a lot more and they're able to keep their foliage on way into the fall when we want those nice beautiful colors. Another option to manage apple scab is fungicide applications and these applications are going to be made early in the spring. We're going to be looking at mid-April to early May just as the foliage is starting to bud break out. We're going to be making those applications 14 to 21 days depending on the product that you're using so you need to read those labels very carefully. The number of applications you're going to have to do in the spring will also depend on what is the weather going to be. If it's really going to be a wet spring, you may have to make several applications to protect that foliage and the fruit that will later be developing on those plants. So please watch and read those labels very carefully to know what you need to be doing with your products. Cedar apple rust can cause major problems on our edible apples and cause some defoliation and it can affect our fruit overall. Cedar apple rust is going to be moving in early in the spring and it's actually going to be coming, the spores are going to be coming from junipers or from our cedar trees that produce these galls and teleohorns, these orange masses in the early spring when it's wet. And those spores are going to travel to our apple trees and crab apple trees and infect them. This is the only stage where the apples will be infected by the disease. So early management is critical in controlling this disease. When it moves into the apples, we're going to start off with small red to orange lesions that appear on the leaf tissue. As the lesions mature, they're going to get larger and we're still going to continue having that orange to yellow halo surrounding the leaf tissue. As the lesions mature, you're going to flip the underside of the leaf and you're actually going to see little horns and these are the spore stage that's going to come off the apples and this is what goes back to the cedar trees and infects the cedar trees. These spores will not reinfect the apples at this point in time which is important to know. So when we look at the management as I stated earlier, early is critical in the key part. We're going to be making those fungicide applications during bud break and we're going to be protecting that tissue as long as possible to protect those plants. Also using resistant varieties just like with apple scab is another easy way to manage this disease. And the final part of management is sanitation. Cleaning up the apples and the foliage in the fall and even during midsummer will help reduce the amount of disease that you'll see from year to year on these, on these trees.